to my sunroom. It is bitter outside today, so it's too cold even for me to go outside. So Stan and I are going to talk to you here from the sunroom. Treats. And a little subliminal advertising. Chapter 10 um, was kind of a fun chapter for me. It's based on four decades of my life. I've plucked characters from here, there, and everywhere. It's a real mishmash of people and events and put it together into a, a single chapter. One of my all-time, I'm being upstaged here, one of my all-time favorite movies is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson for all kinds of different reasons. Um, and I thought it would be interesting to develop a story around sort of a group home situation um, based on some of the more unusual characters we had that came to the real Ocean View Cat Hospital. Instead of the sadistic nurse Ratchet in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Dr. Beister um, was the kind of person who would be willing to um, sacrifice for the, for the better of his patients. That's, that's who I envisioned when I created him. And for those of you who are wondering, Fred was a real cat. Fred really did get into his owner's stash of recreational marijuana, and he really did have to pump his stomach, and he really did survive. <laughs> he was not quite as old as the Fred in my story, but he was a really nice cat as well. Dr. Meisner is based on my high school geography teacher. Um, I hope he doesn't know that. <laughs> anyway, uh, my a high school geography teacher was a really nice man, he's short, a big thick beard, thick glasses, and he always wore a hush puppies and a brown suede jacket. I don't know why, but he would sneak up on you and you would never know where he was. But kids all really loved him, he was a really good sport. And I think probably teaching in a high school, there are some similarities to working in a group home situation or a, a mental institution, so I thought he would be the perfect um, ringleader for the, uh, the group home setting. I would only add that um, there's nothing funny about mental illness, but you know, funny things happen to all of us. And in this story, it's um, Betty Ann and I think Dr. Meisner who emerge as the real heroes. Right, Stan? I have one more cookie left. So, uh, in closing, I would only like to add that this wonderful, incredible sweater, I hope you can see it, uh, my husband won for me in a raffle. I never win anything, and I love this sweater. This is actually real cat fur, the kind that we just collect up in our houses every day on a daily basis, that a lady named uh, Dr. Emily McEwen Fujita made, and I will put a link um, uh, to her website on mine later today. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you next week.